So over the years, and uh, more recently as of uh, the last few months, there's an awful lot of talk about uh, uh, keeping your machine waxed up so everything slides and glides nice and easy, uh, with uh, uh, a special attention played to the uh, the weight tubes. So that's where the, the headstock itself self moves. Uh, I've done a couple of videos on YouTube channel, uh, Today's Shopsmith, uh, the channel you're watching now, I hope, uh, where I talk about dialing in the tubes, okay? Uh, if you've done all of that, you wax your machine uh, on a regular basis. Uh, the machine pretty well tells you when it's time to wax because it starts to get a little sluggish. But uh, even after waxing, maybe even dialing in the tubes, it still seems a bit sluggish. You might have to go to the next step. And this is actually a step as far as waxing, so the headstock moves free and easy. That needs to be done at least, at least once a year, preferably two, three, maybe four times a year. And that's taking the headstock off and wax, well, cleaning and waxing the collars that actually wrap around the weight tubes themselves. That's what I'm gonna show you how to do today and I'll show you, uh, well, the smut and the guck and all that that actually builds up inside the machine, okay? Uh, it just happens from using the machine. So I think you'll enjoy watching this one. Okay, for starting out, make sure you're unplugged. We're gonna need us a length of lumber here, long enough so that we can raise our table up, put that piece of material right below the, the table legs themselves. By the way, your table and carriage are all the way to the right. Carriage is locked down. Bring the headstock about the center. Get your extension table off of here. Now, un, excuse me. I've got the headstock locked, but the table is unlocked. That's so when I raise the machine up, I can go to any height that I want. You don't need much. Lock the table height down now. Make sure you're snug and she stays up. We'll now remove this end cap casting. Once that's removed, that stock will slide right off. There's your casting. Now we'll just loosen that up. Make sure you're clearing the machine, which we are and pull her off. Down she goes. Not a whole lot to it. So now just for the sake of uh, visibility here, I prop the uh, head stuck up onto the, uh, the weight tube. Be careful doing that if you're gonna try this. I did put the casting back on briefly. But I wanted a good close-up of these areas of the casting, your headstock, right there. I want to get in here as close as I can get, as tight a shot here as I can go. Yeah, not that way. I want to get in here as tight as I can get. You can see this real good. And I'm using, of course, <laughs> the last of my Johnson's paste wax. I'm gonna go right inside here. You can see the collars in there. And just wipe, the, wipe this in here. Are you ready for this? That's the smut and the debris that actually builds up on those collars. And I have it over here too. Look how black that is. Let me get some more wax here. You may even want to use a Scotch Brite pad in here if you have not done this ever. Because it'll keep coming up black. That stuff really, really, really gets built up. And I'll keep working this until 
and get it cleaned off. Look at that, isn't that something? More wax. Again, if you've never done this, it's not a fun chore because you got to do uh, a little work to get that headstock off of there. If you got a power pro, you know how heavy that is. It's going to pay off though with how that thing moves so much easier and nicer. This is one of the, the hidden wax points <laughs> nobody ever wants to talk about, including myself because it's a pain in the you know what. It's just getting a little bit better here. You keep working it, keep working, you get all that stuff off of there. When it starts coming up clean, just buffer off and get all that excess off of there. And of course then, we're gonna turn the machine around and do the other collars. Let's do that. Again, if you're gonna prop your head stuck up on something, make sure it can't fall over on you because that would not be pretty. That wouldn't be good at all. So again, we're just doing the same thing on the opposite end of the, the Power Pro headstock. You see that? Let's move back in. Can you see down in there? That's where we're going down into. This looks pretty bad here. I might use a scotch right there. Let's do that. Get the camera set back up here. Okay. I do always keep a scotch braid inside my wax can. This one's not too bad. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me show you the difference here. This is just lightly hitting it. Now it's curious Right over here, and that could cause a problem with sliding, there's some of the uh, exterior gray paint on the inside of that collar. So over time, and with something like a Scotch-Brite, we can get that off there. I don't think there's enough buildup on paint there that would cause a big problem, though. Do the same thing over here. This side seems to be even worse than the, the other side, the side we started with. But once I hit it with the Scotch Bright, go back to my paper towels. Watch this. Again, black. Let me get a fresh paper towel here. And I don't usually use these white paper towels. I like to use the Blue Lowe's shop towels. But uh, I thought this would be more impactful. Look at that, see? But it already, this this side really looked bad. But now they're shining up and cleaning up really nice. This will make a night and day different or difference in how this thing slides and glides. Again, if you'll take the time to remove that headstock a couple times a year clean those collars, you'll have a headstock that will always slide and glide just like you want it to. I'm doing this to my machine because I'm getting ready for some serious, serious <coughs> time out on that camper van project. We got to go and blow on that thing so we can get that done. So you want to stay tuned for that. So Gonna be some very interesting uh, uh, cabinet work done for that. So I'll be building cabinets on on the uh, Power Pro, of course, uh, for that. Also, you want to stay tuned because I'm not gonna tell you exactly when this is, but very soon there's something super, super big coming. Uh, I mean, super big. You're gonna love this thing. Okay. 
Now that's all I'm gonna say, that's all I'm allowed to say. But you wanna stay tuned, because you can probably be the first to find out about it. With that, I'm Mike Young. This is Today's Shopsmith. If you like what you've seen, subscribe for more.